What is up, y'all? Cheeseburger TWR is back for another cheeseburger review, round 40, fight. Welcome back. What is up, y'all? I am at a very off-putting named restaurant. Uh, the parking lot is empty today. Back-to-back -back road games. Uh, my air conditioning was whistling, so uh, I had to go ahead and turn it off. So if I start to sweat and glisten, um, just roll with it you know we'll we'll be fat together i guess so yes i did go to bubble cream today quite possibly the worst restaurant name ever it's bubble tea and ice cream uh you know i get the the play on words there i just it's got it's just it's it's weird it's weird to me but you know what uh, multi-million dollar idea alert if I were to ever open a restaurant, which I would never do. So faux restaurant idea alert. I want to create a Vietnamese barbecue joint and call it Pho Q. That's right. P-H-O apostrophe Q-U-E Pho Q. So I feel like it would be a, a great undertaking, a great restaurant. Sounds fantastic. Now, if you've never had Vietnamese food, you should try it. If you've never had barbecue, you should try it. Two things coming together, being fantastic together. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get after it here. Um, they did customize the bag for me here. Uh, cheeseburger TWR, the marker's back. How about that? And I also did get a uh, bubble tea. It's cake batter and caramel milk with, I got the little tapioca balls in there, which is kind of an off-putting um, circumstance, but I'll take a little drink for you. It's very good. I've already uh, taken a drink. I wasn't sure quite how it worked. Uh, I tried stabbing my straw through there initially, and I was too weak, and I was making a fool of myself in there. I almost peeled it back, put the straw in that way, but I went for one more stab, and it worked. Those balls in the mouth are just ah, kind of get you uh, all the Twitter I saw. I took a look too. We do have napkins this time too. Um, we have the yummy cheesy burger from Bubble Cream, and apparently it is like a Juicy Lucy. They did make it fresh. It's got the nice wrapping around it here. Lettuce down, so. We've got two patties here. We've got lettuce, grilled onion, tomato, and cheese. Apparently there's cheese on the inside, so we'll see how this goes. Um, again, I just wanted to try this place because it was so poorly named. And look, we've got some more of that secret sauce there. Hopefully it's a very uh, good tasting and fresh burger. Uh, I ordered it online, but when I got here, they were still making it. So it's nice that uh, it will be fresh and what have you. So just go ahead and get after it here. Two chomps to you, Alonzi. Happy Tuesday. It's still birthday week, kind of. Not really, but we're treating it like it. So let's go. That hanging lettuce there, right? Eh? Hmm. lettuce and sauce everywhere there's even sauce on my glasses i don't know if you can tell but can't take me anywhere good thing i'm doing this by myself here uh, of course the sun goes down right when i go to uh you know put this together i feel like i don't have the tripod position as well it has been before so you know we're just gonna roll with it i thought it was supposed to be like a juicy lucy i thought that it said that the cheddar cheese was going to be between the patties but i guess it was i never did unbun it for you that's a lot of secret sauce and then we got tomato lettuce and then those these big beautiful patties as i get stuff everywhere I'm gonna take another bite or two and see what happens i'm just not messy at all huh not messy at all they didn't put enough sauce on this so it's that whole bubble cream deal you know <laughs> I 
don't know it's napkins or wrapper anymore what have you um yes yeah, so i'll probably finish this when i go home here <laughs> i even got sauce on my uh board here and just yeah so yeah it's a it's a decent burger it's very uh well moist if you will very creamy and uh that secret sauce really gives it a nice kick the uh the burger patties are pretty good um you know nothing too spectacular maybe it could use a little bit more seasoning the tomato is nice and fresh i don't typically like tomato there's not a lot of lettuce on there and i didn't see the grilled onions let me go ahead and take a look yeah i mean unless oh they are at the bottom here so as you can see they're just kind of hiding them from me i'll take one more bite while i've got it here Not messy at all, and I'm getting the meat sweats over here too, so just got the glasses even dirtier, so damn, T-Dub, can't take you anywhere, but anyways, this is decent, um, it's not gonna, you know, knock your so socks off or anything, but it's, it's a solid burger, I'll go ahead and give it a top 15, so three out of five, you know, we do the top five, top 10, top 20, <laughs> top 15, top 25, unranked, I think I said them all right, but yeah so it's decent top 15 um will i come back here for that probably not but it's decent so if you are out at 24 and hayes in michigan uh you can go ahead and come out and uh see what's going on here but uh, in the meantime hopefully you like this content and if you did give me that big thumbs up but as always you know how we like to do here like wrestling a 30 minute match with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Give me your best Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh! oh! Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Comment below. Let me know what you think about my multi-million dollar idea. This burger. The name Bubble Cream. What you think of bubble tea or ice cream or anything. So let's talk. Let's get some banter going. And um, be sure to jingle the bell for the notifications as well. Uh, but with that said, uh, this is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye-bye.